Hi, my name is Milan Jara and today we are going to talk about a brand new product, door skins. They come in a variety of colors and they can improve the look of your old door and make it look like new. They can go over dings and scratches and beautify the door behind me we are going to do right now. So before we can install the door skin, we need to remove the hardware, the handle, the lock, the pins from the hinges. Let's get to it. All right, so the door is removed. Now, before we can apply the door skin, we have to sand it down for better adhesion. All right, so the door is already sanded. Let's clean it up to get rid of the dust with some alcohol. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna go get a door skin. Okay, so here's the door skin. We picked a uh, espresso, apple espresso finish for this one. Now here's a tip. We want to align this factory edge with our most exposed edge of the door, which is the one that we're going to be seeing when it's open. This is the straightest edge and plus we don't have to cut it. So we're going to align this and then we can start peeling and sticking. So now is the time to actually peel the paper from the back and stick the door skin on the door. Now the door skin comes with a paper on the back which is a little bit longer than the door skin itself so that we can align this with the edge of the door and the door skin is not being uh, hit upon and ripped off. All right, so we are making sure that we have no bubbles here. Removing the paper nicely from under the door skin. And smoothing it off. So there are no bubbles. So it is really important to make sure it's lined up from the get-go, but now it's pretty much just pulling the paper off. One way to know where the edge is, is to bend the door skin until you create this crease line here so that you can take your knife and nicely cut it off. Now you can use the door as a guide to cut off the edge. It is a little uh, sticky, so extra pair of hands is useful. So now we're gonna follow this step all the way around the doors and we're almost done. Now make sure your blade is really sharp. The sharper the blade, the easier the job. Okay, so edges are cut. Now we just have to press the door skin to the door just to make sure it stays nice and tight for years to come. It does look really good already. That's it. All right, so the last thing to do is to cut out the holes for the hardware. Now if you press on this, it will create a crease here, which we can just follow with a razor blade and cut it out. The hardware will cover about half an inch around this hole anyway. So now there you go, it's ready for the hardware. So now that the door is finished, we can take it back and hang it. All right, folks, so this is it. We have a beautiful door installed behind me. 
and it only took a few minutes. Don't forget to visit decorativecealingtiles.net and search for door skins to check out a variety of colors we have available for you. Thank you. Decorative Ceiling Tiles, transforming your ceilings from plain to beautiful in hours.